Good morning, friends. I hope you have had a wonderful day. This morning is Saturday, the, I believe it's the 17th of June. How is it already in the middle of June is a really good question. Um, this morning I've just been puttering around. I uh, made some, <laughs> become one of those people. I've made a vegan, gluten-free, grain-free banana bread last night, so I enjoyed that for breakfast this morning, and we just chilled out on the couch, read some Reddit. Um, I cleaned the house for a bit. I just get really anal about marks on my walls. I don't know what it is. I just I, They just need to not be on the wall. So I went around doing that. I did some laundry. Um, yeah, just really chill Saturday morning type stuff. And now I am about to put on some makeup and I have some stuff and some running around to do today. So I thought I would vlog. It's been a while since I did a home vlog. I've had a lot going on in my life and it's hard enough figuring it out by yourself, let alone figuring it out with you guys, you know? So I'm really taking a step back from, I guess, sharing a lot of my personal life, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, though I think that I'm going to start doing a little bit more vlogging now that I feel like I've kind of somewhat got a bit of my life <laughs> settled. Um, as you guys know, I've dealt with a lot of digestion issue stuff that's caused a ton of acne, that's caused a lot of distress in my life, and that hasn't been really fun. So when I'm down or when I'm just feeling really like I'm struggling or like I just don't really know what direction I'm going in It's really hard to I guess put that online because I don't want this channel to be about that You know like it's a part of my life, but it doesn't define who I am and I, I hope that you guys understand that I know that a lot of you do but you know You know so for my makeup today. I am going super Super chill. I don't really want to do very much really to be honest I don't really want to do any but I feel like I should have a presentable face because I do have a long day and I got a lot, a lot of stuff on my plate and I just feel a little bit more confident when I do have, you know, the Carissa Pukas going on. Um, I was sent some PR from Too Faced that I opened up this morning, which I'm really excited about. They sent me a bunch of stuff, but amongst that was the Sweet Peach Palette. I've been really wanting to try this for a long time and it's just one of those things that I just never really got around to purchasing because I don't buy a lot of makeup. I don't see the need. I've sent a ton and in all honesty, I don't really need more. I just, I don't. So if I'm sent it, I'll use it. But at this point, unless it's a product that I'm like, oh my God, it's a holy grail. I just don't really bother going out and buying makeup. So I'm going to try this sucker out today and it's beautiful and I'm really excited to give it a go. So let's do this. Wow, Chris, a great job. Start the vlog and don't check your memory card. I filled up the memory card like immediately after I started doing my face. <sighs> Hold still, that works. Take two. And the battery died. I am so out of practice of this. This is actually hilarious. Let's again continue. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Urban Decay perversion and now I feel like it's just not doing anything for me today. It's just like getting my lashes black but not like actually building them. The more I do it, the more it's clumping. Let me grab another one, hold on. All right, I got my good trusty Charlotte Tilbury legendary lashes. Shit is awesome. I 
really been dealing with lip color very often. Um, my lips have been so, so excruciatingly chapped lately. Um, I will eventually do a full video explaining and talking about it, but I don't want to get into it now. But um, I've been using this Pink Grapefruit Badger lip balm. It's really good. It's the only thing that seems to like actually do anything. That and the Bite Beauty Agave, uh, like it's like a little tube and you squeeze it out. That is like a hardcore lip chap. It works really well. But this is the only one in a tube that actually feels like it's doing anything for my lips at this point. Let's do some hair with my handy dandy Dyson. Ooh. Does anybody else get like worried plugging things in from like a weird angle? Cause like if it doesn't fully plug in, I feel like I'm gonna get electrocuted. Probably just me, but you know, a rational thought of the day. And no, you guys aren't imagining things. The top half of my head is like a mixture of gold and purple. Um, I explained in one of my videos on my main channel, but um, going back, blonder, um, obviously doing it in like in steps. And I had a lot of gold tones through the middle section, kind of like banding, which was kind of a total bitch, but whatever. Um, but to try and combat that, I was like, yeah, like I'll just douse my head in purple shampoo. Like I'll try to avoid the really, really blonde bits. All right, I'm using my T3. Love this thing. The only thing that I wish that it did was beep when it's ready. I never know when it's ready. I think like that's probably what the lights are for, but I'm not fucking looking at lights. I'm like doing my thing around my house. I just want to know when you're ready. You guys can totally see some of that um, goldiness through here, hey? Especially when I have it like purple and gold. Seriously, it took me like four minutes to do my hair. That's the biggest thing that I missed about having short hair was that like, I just hate doing my hair. I hate it. I absolutely despise doing it. I don't want to do anything to it. Just want to leave it. So at least with this, I can kind of leave it and it's good for a couple days. So nice to have short hair again. Not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna put some product in. Hold on. I could clean this up, but I'm gonna wait till I get home because I got some stuff up here to put away too. So, you know, I'm just gonna put it off and delay it until I really have to do it. I'm gonna put some pants on and let's get out of here. Hello, sweet muffin. You look so adorable. Do you even know? My good darling. Yes. Okay, so before I leave, I just wanna check if um, a consignment store that I can sign with, ooh, you're really bright. Um, a consignment store that I can sign with, they only take uh, new stuff on certain days. So I just want to double check that today is the day that they take it or else I'm lugging all the shit downtown for no reason. So I'm just gonna look on their Instagram. Okay, no, I don't want to update. The place that I usually go to is called Mine and Yours. Their Instagram looks like that. And they do like designer consignment stuff, which is really wicked. I've purchased quite a few things from them. I honestly think if you have the option of buying a pre-loved bag and saving like a ton of money, why the fuck wouldn't you, you know? I mean, so that's kind of the deal. And so what I do is if I'm done with something or I don't, um, if I'm sent clothes that I don't wanna wear that are kind of like a upper brand label or I've worn them for a photo or whatever, um, I can then consign them with this store and have that value added to my account and then I can apply that towards whatever is in that store currently. But like I said, they only do it on, I think three days of the week. So let's triple check that today's the day. Yeah, cool. So Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, no appointments needed. Sweet. I'm gonna bring my shit. Before I start walking, and I have no way to show you guys this, this is the backpack full of stuff that I'm donating to the Cinderella Project. And I'm super stoked to be gifting them a ton of different makeup stuff that I either already own or stuff from PR that I wasn't interested in. But I have a ton of stuff in here, it's freaking heavy. I also have a brand new backpack to donate to them. And yeah, I'm excited, I hope that they like it. So this is gonna be my first stop before I head over to the consignment store.
Man, that was a trek. <laughs> I feel like this backpack is like 40 pounds. I'm actually full blown sweating. But I mean, what's new? covered it and I still have stuff on my account which is amazing because next time I go in I'll probably bring more stuff to trade in it's just like a constant trade for getting cheaper and or free stuff I think that I might go out to Michael's over on Camby so I'm gonna find a Skytrain station down in Neil Town While I'm in Yale Town, I think I'm gonna go to the Cross. It's this beautiful like homeware store and I've been really wanting to get new bedding for the longest time. So I think I'm gonna check that out. They have like the comfiest looking beds as display beds. I always just wanna like run it, like fucking plow into one. So maybe I should get that for myself for my house bed because that would be really nice to have a nice comfy house bed. I'm gonna eat this on my way over. It's a granola bar that's like a low FOMAP or FODMAP or however you pronounce it granola bar. Um, it's actually relatively not that bad. There's only, let me see, seven grams of sugar per and 125 milligrams of sodium, so that's 5%. So it's actually not that bad. Six grams of protein for this. So the bets feel like that because the fitted sheet alone is $385. I don't think I'll be purchasing from here. <laughs> Do you guys have any suggestions of like online stores that have really silky soft bedding? Let me know. I am living for this little side table setup though. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if I can buy this cactus. That's a cute cactus. It always massively creeps me out when the sign does that when you film things. All right, this is probably gonna sound pretty stupid, but they have sleeves for hot drinks. Why don't they have sleeves for cold drinks? <laughs> My hands are freezing. All right, we made it to Michael's. I'm like casually looking at all the letters here. <laughs> and I swear to God, I didn't do that, but I wholeheartedly approve. Got everything at Michael's and I'm now headed to Home Depot. I think I'm gonna have to taxi home though. There's no way I'm gonna be able to carry all this stuff. Hopefully Glenn's home and he can come downstairs and help me out with it. Fingers crossed. So one of those people in a city that should really own a car because I just I get a lot of shit all the time and I'm lost, stuck with like four plants and a bag full of things downtown. <laughs> shit. I found the most beautiful banana palm leaf and snake plant though and I was looking for those exact two plants. So I might have to struggle to get them home. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't know. Look at them though. What a freaking majestic beauty, both of them. Oh, how am I gonna get it home? Oh, it's a bird of paradise, excuse me. But oh, I want him, I want him so bad. Yep, there's no way in any universe that I'm getting both of those plants home. I just like to think that I can and there's just, there's no way, no chance. Okay, so I'm gonna get the one and this beautiful green pot. Now I need to get some larger storage bins for our winter gear so that we can put our winter stuff downstairs because I don't have a large enough closet to be able to fit everything that I own in it. So I have to sort all of my winter clothes and put them down into storage, which isn't ideal, but is what it is. <gasps> I know, we can say hi to the vlog. Say hello. Okay, okay. Did I get a new plant? Do you wanna go look at it? Quick, go look, quick. She likes it when I buy new things. I don't know what it is, but like she just, she's a really materialistic dog. She enjoys and knows like, look at her. Look at her poking around my backpack. You know when there's new things in the house. And when you give her something, she's so grateful. Like she knows that it's hers when you're like, Lola, this is for you. She'll play with that toy for like ages. It's hilarious. Aren't you? You're the sweetest little puppy in the whole world. So it is now 
God, it's like almost 6 p.m. I've been trucking around all day. Um, I'm going to clean up, maybe clean my beauty room quickly, and then we have dinner with, um, I hired somebody for Socialize, and um, we're just starting to kind of plan out what her duties will be, so, <laughs> duties, I'll never get over that word. Um, <laughs> I should totally be a boss, right? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and meet her out in Kitsilano and have some Mexican food, though it's going to have to be very heavily modified to work with my current diet situation, but that's okay, isn't it, Lola? It's all good, it's all good, baby. Hey! Oh, say hello to the vlog. Do a big flop for the vlog. <laughs> well, a flop. Good girl. You did a big flop. Do you want to show them the plant? Look, there's the plant. There's the new one. There it is. Doesn't that look lovely? Thank you for your manpower, Glenn. You're welcome. <laughs> look at this manpower. Such manpower. Alright, so I changed into a dress, put some different shoes on, have my bag, my laptop, and we're gonna head over to Kits. Buy my little sad dog. I see you when I get home. Don't be so worried. I'll be home soon. I didn't vlog very much at dinner because it was super loud in there, but we had a lovely time. Organized a lot of stuff for socialize, which I'm super stoked about. I am now headed home. Glenn went out to meet some friends and I'm going to stop at the dispensary for a well-deserved treat and then head home and relax and finally get off my feet because today's been a very, very long day. I think this is where I'm gonna leave you guys though. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. Love you guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.